Hello guys, today we'll be talking about an underwater fishing camera. It, well, they call it an underwater fishing camera, but I guess it can be used for a number of things. You can use it to inspect the bottom of your boat, you can use it to look at the underwater topography in the water. I guess it can be used for countless things, but um, we'll talk about the gadget itself. It arrived today, I bought it on eBay. It comes in this little box. It's quite well protected, portable, easy to transport. A very good sturdy lock there. There are quite a number of models on eBay, but I decided to choose this one primarily because of this. This particular model has a flip out screen shade. I don't know if you can see it there. The screen itself is protected with these shades. Now anybody that has used an LCD device under the sun will uh, sympathize with the fact that sometimes you have problems looking at the image on the screens. That's why I chose this model. It comes well packed. There's a manual in English. Decent English if I may add. Good packaging. A wall charger for lithium ion batteries. It charges with a thousand milliamps. So I guess the battery that follows is a LiPo battery. And here is the battery. The manual says 4500 milliamps and 7 to 12 hours use um, when it's running the camera and the screen. That left that is left to be um, verified when I test it. These are the jacks, one for charging and one to connect the camera. Now note something, when I leave the box, it, the weight of the screen easily makes it a tip. So your battery is actually your ballast to hold it up. Just a little detail. Now these little clips, I think they are to secure the wires on the camera. I don't really know yet, but I'll just pop them in there. And then this is the jack for the camera. It's anybody uh, can use it. It's self-explanatory. One for the power, one for the AV signal. The other two for the AV signals, I mean. And this is the camera itself. The camera, according to the manual, is supposed to be 800 lines, uh, 800 by 680 uh, resolution. It's supposed to be a Sony CCD camera, so it's quite good resolution. It's completely waterproof. In there, it has some uh, lighting that should give very clear picture, according to the manual, up to three meters. Well, that's again left to be verified. The camera itself is a sturdy, quite firm build. These little loops here, I guess, are to secure your wires and secure your fishing line as you dip it into the water. This loop at the bottom is to secure a weight of some sort so that you don't just float around without control under the water. This is a little arm in front of the camera. You can secure a lure there or fish hook or whatever you want to attract the fish. It comes with this little spool, a <laughs> written camera there and uh, it's supposed to be 30 meters of wire so I should be able to lower this 30 meters into the water which fits me fine because most of the areas I sail uh, but within that range and this of course the AV jacks again to the camera that's about what you get in the box I think I should power it up so you can uh, get a look at it I'll just start with putting the AV connections and the battery. There. Just zoom onto the screen. Now the screen itself is well secured in the box. Self-explanatory buttons and power there. Now Something must be wrong there. Okay, I think I didn't insert it well enough there. Good. I just didn't push it in good enough. Well, now it's in. Here we go. The screen is actually quite sharp. 
um, one little detail is that you cannot control the lights on and off on the uh, camera that would have been smart if you could but uh, well I guess you can't get everything and uh, as you can see the camera is quite quite sharp the image is, is quite good I'll just try to focus a little bit more on the screen so that you can get a good look at it there oh sorry there you go and I'll just flip the camera around a little bit you can see the image is actually not bad and the camera kinds of compensates when I point the camera to light you can see a few milliseconds then it adjusts itself and gets a better image and when I point it to a darker area it adjusts itself again which is actually quite good and this is the whole set well that's about it I should be um, trying this setup on the boat and probably when I'm out lake fishing with my two sons and um, it will be interesting to see what's on there and just to explore the whole set uh, cost me I, I think it was about a hundred pounds I paid and that was inclusive uh, with postage from uh, Hong Kong it was so that's about it I hope uh, I've answered most of the questions and uh, if you have any questions feel free to post them uh, under the video if you like what you see subscribe to the channel for more reviews and uh, don't forget to thumbs up bye